So du is equal to dx. <clears throat> What's the problem? It doesn't equal the top. This is u. That's du. Exactly. So it's like the substitution we did before, right? So I'm going to get rid of that x by rewriting it as u minus 1 is equal to x. That is right there. So now the 2 I can pull outside if you want. So my integral is now 2 u minus 1 over u squared. Deal. Now what? So you have a single variable in the denominator and two terms in the numerator. You want to break that up into And then you're going to simplify that. So and then the second one, I'm going to flip up to that. Okay, so two sits on the outside. What's the antiderivative of one over u? Natural log of u minus, what do we do with this u to the negative two thing? Yeah. So you add 1 to the exponent, so you get u to the minus 1, you divide by that new exponent, which is negative 1. We'll clean that up. So it's going to be plus, I could write u to the minus 1, or you could write 1 over u, it's up to you. Nobody got that pun? All right, and then final step is to replace the u with x plus 1. So we'll write it in blue. So it's 2. You can multiply the 2 in if you wanted. It's up to you. In, nothing. x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 1. What do I have to add on to it? Plus c. And there you go. Is that okay? So it's the same stuff we did before, except now part of the integral will turn into a natural log. Part of it is a regular, just add one to the exponent and divide. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Let's try another one here. We'll do a definite. The integral from e to e squared. Does anybody remember what e is? It's not a natural log, it's a number. You might know what the number is. I don't know. Two point seven one eight. Blah 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 blah. 
Or what? Is the name of the um, of this guy? Euler? Uh, Euler? Uh, okay. It's named after, well. We don't, we don't use like the number. You just say the number? Yeah, like pi? Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so what do we do? We have a natural log in our integral. If you see that, that's your substitution, okay? Because you don't know how to integrate the natural log. Like, I have not shown you anything for a formula that has this. What's the antiderivative of the natural log? We don't know. You don't know. There's a way to do it, but you have to know some other stuff. So you don't know it yet. So as soon as you see a natural log inside the integral, that is you. Okay? So u equals the natural log of x. So what's du? What's the derivative of the natural log? 1 over x. I should write that up here somewhere. I will in a sec. Remember, it's u primed over u. I'll write those on the board today. And this should have a dx in it, which I forgot to write. OK, so now we sub out everything we can. So our new integral, that's u. 1 over x dx is equal to du. So now I've got the integral, 1 over u, du. So we have, I'll do it both ways here, okay? Just to see, show you that we get the same answer. So it's a definite integral. So let, let's evaluate this and then we'll go back and do it the other way. So what's the antiderivative of one over u? It's the natural log of u, right? So this becomes the natural log of u. What's u? natural log. So it's the natural log of the natural log. And it's evaluated from e to e squared. So there's a natural log inside of another natural log, which is kind of messed up. Okay. So now I put in the top term. So it's the natural log the natural log of e squared minus the natural log of the natural log of e. Now let's go back to math 12. What does natural log mean? What base? It's base e, right? The natural log, if you don't remember this, you can always just punch it in your calculator. Natural log is log base e. So if I say log base e of e squared, what does that equal? It equals just the exponent, right? When these match. So if you're natural logging e, it's whatever the exponent is. And if you put it in your calculator, you'll find that out. So this becomes the natural log. What does this become? Just 2 minus, what is this? What's the exponent on there? That's 1, right? So it's the natural log of 1. And as we learned yesterday, what's the natural log of 1? 0. So what's my answer? Natural log of 2, whatever that is. But I would just leave it as natural log of 2. Okay? You can put this all into your calculator. Now, the other way to do it, to get the same answer, is at this point, you can rewrite the endpoints, right? Just to show you, you get the same answer. When x is equal to e squared, u is going to be equal to natural log of e squared, which is 2. So that would be 2. When x is equal to e, u is equal to natural log of e, which is 1.
So it'll be the integral from 1 to 2. That is equal to the natural log of u from 1 to 2, which is natural log of 2 minus natural log of 1. And again, that's 0. So you get that. And you can put that all in your calculator and you would get the same answer. Okay? Okay. Do you want to do one more? Okay. I'll do one more. Let's do This is your last new question for calculus 12. You all look so excited. <laughs> uh all right. Number here. We will do, do you want definite or indefinite? Definite? Indefinite? I'm going to ask you to do a definite on the test. You don't need it on the test. Just take it off. You give me permission to do that. Thank you. Um, integral. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> so, as soon as you see sort of two terms like this, fractions, blah, 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 one's trig, one's not, what should you do? Break them up into two different angles, right? That's the first step, is realize that those can be dealt with separately. So right away, I'm going to cleave it right there. And then we'll deal with the first one here. So the integral 5 over 3x plus 1 dx. Okay. What do you do? Okay, substitution, what's what's you going to be? The only thing it can really be is the denominator, right? So u is going to be 3x plus 1. So du is equal to 3dx. So du over 3 equal to dx. So that integral now becomes, I can pull the 5 out, 1 over u, du over 3. What else can I pull out? 1 third, so it's 5 over 3, integral of 1 over u, du, which is natural log of the absolute value, so it's 5 thirds, natural log, absolute value of u, and u was 3x plus 1. Okay, so that one's done. We just put that off to the side. Then we go back up to deal with the trig. Does anybody have any questions about that part of it? Yep. Yeah, you can always pull constants out, just can't pull like a uh, x out. Okay. All right, so now we go back to the top. We deal with the trig one. What? Okay, what do I do here? Split it up exactly. You have a single denominator with two terms in the numerator. Break those apart. 
So I get integral sine x over cos x minus cos x over cos x. And these should all have dx's. I just keep forgetting to write them. OK. What's cos x over cos x? That's 1, right? So this becomes integral of 1 dx, which is just x, right? Everybody agree with that? OK, so I get this minus x over here. Sorry? Like here? So you're saying, what is the antiderivative of 1 with respect to x? Okay, so x. Okay, so I got that. Uh, I got to deal with this sine thing here. Okay, what do I do with this thing here? Hmm? Okay, what are we substituting? Numerator or denominator? Denominator, okay. So u is equal to cosine. What's the derivative of the cosine? Negative sine. So I want to pull that negative out, right? So negative du is equal to sine x dx. So now my integral is integral of 1 over u negative du, which is negative natural log of u, which is negative, what's u, cos. We good that with that? No? Why are we not good with that? What happened to what? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just talking about the purple right now. I'm not talking about the whole thing. Just the purple is all I'm doing. I'm just doing this. Yeah, I'm, I'm, when we put it all together at the end, we'll do that. You're all right. I'm just, right now, all I'm asking you, does everybody agree with the purple? Yes. Okay. So, this bit, now we got to put it all together. So, this is where you got to be careful. Let me see if I can make sure I get this into the right screen. Okay, so it's this bit. The green part turns into, let me write it in green. So it's 5 over 3, natural log, absolute value of 3x plus 1. Okay, minus, so this becomes minus. I'm putting a bracket just so I don't mess up all the signs, okay? This bit here turns into that right okay so it's minus negative natural log absolute value cos of x minus x and then you should flip all the signs plus natural log absolute value cos of x plus x and the final step plus c so when it's big like that you break it into separate chunks and do each one separately and then bring it all back together the only trick is watching your signs especially if there's a subtraction sign in there calculus problem is over people Congratulations. Now I'm just going to give you a few questions to practice this stuff. Then we'll talk about the test tomorrow. And I'll give you time. I'm going to push a whole bunch of reviews and questions from the book for you for review tomorrow. Um, da -da -da -da. Just to get you started, page 3, 3, 4, numbers 15, 21, 23. Hello? Hello,